Hello everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are going to be playing Half-Life Alex, and in fact we are going to be doing the hardest achievement in Half-Life Alex. This achievement requires you to bring a gnome all the way from the start of the game to the end of the game. Without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> First thing I did when I started up the game, I just kind of messed around for a bit. Because I already played this game, so like, I didn't really care. <laughs> After spending some time messing around, I decided to move on. Go. Let's just, let's just, let's just freaking go. Before we get too far in the video here, my cousin is starting out on YouTube, and I'm sure he would freak out if you guys would go over to his channel and subscribe. He even asked me if I wanted to shout him out, so of course I said yes. Here's his channel right here. So if you wouldn't mind, just check out his channel. Please don't spread any hate or anything. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. And without further ado, let's get back into the video. Cat lady, cat lady, cat lady, cat lady, cat lady. Fuck. Whoa. Boom, boom, boom. I hear beeping, I don't know if that's... What the flip, man? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, get off me, man. Uh. Pretend like this is the middle finger. They've got dad. I know. This this is bad. They're gonna find out what he knows and then Yeah, they they're gonna kill him. Yep, oh, yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 After I helped Russell plan out what we're gonna do to save Eli Vance, I grabbed a pair of Russells, did some practice, and finally grabbed the thing that made the challenge officially start. <gasps> There's no Dobsky! No Dobsky! No Dobsky! No Dobsky! Let's go. After boarding and leaving the train, we encountered our first dead zombie and just went on with our day. Oh. Traveling through the level, we run into some barnacles. And thankfully, I have Noam Chomsky with me, or else I would not have been able to kill that final barnacle. Me and the gnome were bonding for a bit, and then I decided to name him. My name is Goober. My name is Goober. Me and Goober then eventually made our way into this building, where we open up this huge hatch, which is pretty cool. <laughs> there we go. Then I picked up Goober again, and we traversed our way through this gooey stuff, opened this door, and did something. No, I'm trying to get it, get it, get it. He didn't, no, he didn't, he didn't, did he actually explode from that? Hold on, I'm gonna review the footage real quick. I reviewed the footage after I thought I exploded Goober into fragments, and it turns out he was just right here, under this desk. Fight me, fight me. Oh, Alright, now this, this, this part would have been tricky. If I didn't do this, but I did that. Mm. And then I found my first upgrade machine. Now upgrade machines are pretty cool in this game. So I made my way through some zombies looking for some, and there was one right here. So then I went back and upgraded my pistol and gave it a nice reflex sight so I know where to shoot. But anyway, I just picked up Noam Chomsky, killed this one zombie, and moved on to the next part. There he is. Oh shoot. <laughs> After killing up some more head crabs and zombies, I got to this puzzle, and then I got to the Vortigaunt's place, the crib, where he eats head crabs. I have a brain injury. Um, I'm sorry, Dad. My brain is injured. That's terrible, Ow. and I hope 
Look, I'm actually pretty big. The Vortica then shows me some insane magic tricks. And then tells me how I'm gonna save my father. Sustenance! Uh, Shortly after that, I ran into some armored head crabs, which I killed pretty easily. So then I grabbed this energy cell, opened up this door, and then moved on. Here we go, Gooby! And got myself a shotgun. There we go. We did it. Let's go, Goober. We did it. After I got the shotgun, I almost got soloed by a head crab, killed some more zombies, got the flashlight, and ran into some poisonous head crabs. And then me and Goober made our way to the next area where we found our first man hack. The first man hack was actually really easy, but other ones I had a huge amount of trouble killing and started swearing because I was tired and just wanted to go to bed. You! I f***ing shot him like f***ing 10 times. After that, I killed some more zombies and made my way to one of the more tedious parts of the game. And what I've noticed about the game is that they'll hide a lot of resin and pack them all in places that you don't want to be in for that long because the game is a pain and doesn't like you getting resin a lot. Now you're probably asking, why is this place so tedious? It's because there's a lot of explosive barrels. Not only that, you have to shoot some zombies and barnacles that are in your path and there's a lot of explosive barrels by them so like one misfire and the entire place explodes and you're dead but fortunately like the sigma i am i made my way through this area without dying once and made my way to the next area of the game i'm taking the auto loader Ha ha ha. This my first combine. After all that epicness, I explored the train wreck and found Eli Vance. <laughs> he was okay though. And then we wiggled our way into the next chapter of the game. Thank you. Diddly daddling. I already know too. Jeez. Look out the window. Whoa, guys, it's our first look at the vault. Yeah. Didn't mention it was After the game gave us look a look at, at the, the vault, vault, we got our hands on some grenades and blew up a big guy. Dude, he really died from that, bro. <laughs> what? Okay. Hold on guys, I'll be right back. The pizza's ready. Just finished my pizza. 10 out of 10, it was the DiGiorno's Rising Crust. Highly recommend, with pepperonis. Oh my gosh, now I'm gonna like throw up. After eating some pizza, I made my way into the Northern Star. And encountered this electric thingy That popped out of the ceiling. And then he decided to shock my ass with 10 million bolts of energy. You know, I'm Mason Man. I don't take that. But oh, what I do take eye, is bro. his heart and use it as an energy core. Alex. 
I found an SMG. Alex, After killing more of those electric dogs, I made my way onto the substation where I destroyed cables supporting the vault. the vault if the substations are still online. Do not worry, Alex Vance. They will not be. We will not allow it. After saving a Vortigaunt, we went on to this elevator. And then I found an upgrade machine, which upgrade I put my machine. SMG into and extended the magazine for. You can put that to good use. Oh yeah. Ugh. Right, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, Norm Chomsky. Or Goober. Okay, here we go. Alright, alright, come on, Goober. <sighs> okay. Oh! I did it! Whoa! It's pretty dang cool. Whoa! <coughs> How have I never seen this? Bro, what was I doing my first playthrough, dude? I definitely was rushing to this game the first time I played it, because I don't remember that. After running into Mr. Freak Crab, I controlled this lift and got a good view of a substation oh, getting torn down by a Vortigaunt, which is pretty epic. And then went on to the lift and pushed a button to make it go down. And then we saw a cool looking combine. That looks different from all the other combine. Dude, you actually... I literally just pumped it in your face, dude. I literally... <laughs> Fuck, dumb, stupid, <laughs> fuck, <no. laughs> Ready, guys? Watch this. <laughs> oh, bad reputation in the neighborhood. I think I have to fight some more people. Yep. 10 billion gajillion zillion. There it is. Back. <gasps> Look at that. Ignore that. We'll meet you outside. My drone back online. We've finally got the affair. Oh, no. Kidding me. After killing some combine, I got this energy core, which I put into the energy thingy, and then did some parkour, and then moved on to the next chapter. Yes! Yeah! I saved this guy from a barnacle, and he told me about this guy named Jeff, oh, yeah. which um can only sure. fear. That's him right there. Yeah, that's Jeff. So I decided to do some face-to-face -face interactions with him. I like throwing bottles, so we went to the bottles. That's all. I'm getting out of here. I'm just gonna go. I like Huh. I'm just gonna go. But I got to this area with, um, um like a frozen, uh, whatever you call it, a freezer, and then locked him in there. Boom. Good job, Goober. Let's go, Goober. You did it, dude. Let's flip and go, man. 
All right, come on, let's open this. I'm gonna go with, wow. And then I had to reopen it because I had to get in there to like turn on the power and stuff. Please. Yeah. After that, we both chilled in the elevator for a bit and a friend decided to join us, which I guess Jeff had a problem with. Damn. Damn, bro. What the hell did the head crab do to you, bro? Oh, shoot. Come on, come on, come on, Cooper. We gotta run, we gotta run. Ugh. Come on, come on, Cooper. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go this way, this way, this way. What's up, pal? Um. Alright, now we gotta get the uh, three thingies. Let's go get the three thingies. Put that up there. That's number two. <laughs> there we go. All three. Hey, come on. Jeff has feelings, dude. Jeff's human like the air, like flip, flipping the rest of us. And boom. Whoosh. Voila. Oh, Jeff. Come here, Jeff. Come here, Jeff. Go go in there. Go in there, Jeff. All yours. All yours. Free, fresh bait. I think he's dead. I opened up this hatch and then moved on downward to this area, which moved me to the next chapter. Watch this, guys. Speedrun. Boom. And would you look at that? We got the rocket launcher. We got the rocket launcher. Yes! I 
did it. This one. I'm trying to, okay. Goober. Come on, Goober. Let's finish this game. Let's finish this game together. A strider. Deactivated though. Whew, lucky break. Uh, Could you imagine that thing? Let's go. Call it. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Come on, Goober. Oh, shoot. That's so. After that craziness, I healed up a bit and traversed my way more through the That's wreckage. Freaking, that was freaking good. Jeez, you're on fire. Big gun, up ahead. I think I've got an idea. I just had a two. That's a good one. Shoot it, shoot it! I just killed a strider. All right, Alex. Well, that tractor beam over there looks like it'll get you up to the vault. Got it. Whoa, yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, my stuff. Oh, oh my god. I got it. I got it. I was a little unaware about the um achievement. I know it doesn't look too I just 100%ed Half-Life Alex. And no, I'm not stopping the video here. I decided to bring the gnome to the end of the game just because I was 20 minutes away from beating the game. <sighs> I'm not gonna abandon you. This close to the end. No. Come here, Goober. Goober? Goober, no! No, Goober. No. No. Goober. Goober!
<sighs> I had to leave Goober behind. Wait! Hey, wait! 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 Well, guys, I did it. <sighs> Beat Half Life Alex with Noam Chomsky. Let's flip and go. I did it. I, I did it, man. I did it. Oh my gosh. I, I just want to go to sleep.